All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really can't believe I'm about to do a tip that's gonna help man coverage players out. You've changed, man. You've changed. But here we are. It is February. The game has basically degraded from a man coverage standpoint. I find it rather easy to beat. I think you guys probably do as well at this point in the year. And after the loop blitz patch, there are a lot of man coverage players that have been left out on an island with no defense in Madden 23. I can't say that I am sympathizing with you too much if you've been running the loop blitz, but I understand you guys need something to figure out how to stop some of these corner routes, not give your opponents time. And this is the video. Let's get into it. What is up guys, Zam from the Zam Madden YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best way to run man coverage. As I mentioned in the intro, a lot of players are really struggling in man coverage. They don't have their loop blitz. They're basically sitting in dollar spinner. They're getting run on. It's a frustrating experience, I totally understand. But I'm gonna show you guys a way that you guys can improve your man to man coverage by using a simple package adjustment. In fact, this is a package adjustment that I've utilized in my defenses for many, many years now. And this year it's actually gotten a little bit more popular. And if you paid close attention to the MCS, wildcard in Madden Bowl, you actually notice some players utilizing these adjustments, not only in zone, but also in their man-to-man -man defense. So I'm going to show you guys a very, very basic way, but I promise you it's going to pay huge dividends for your man coverage defense to get you more stops through a coverage lens. Again, I'm more of a coverage-based guy, as opposed to learning some sort of glitchy blitz, which immediately hits EA's radar and gets title update a few months later, and then you're left being helpless on defense. That's not the way I play the game. I always try to learn the game through a coverage lens. All right, enough yapping, let's get into it. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and kind of show you guys, um, obviously we know like at this point in the year, two man under is um, a little bit tougher to kind of uh, run because corner routes and streak routes together are just too potent of a combo, right? If I were to run a street corner combo against a two man under defense, what ends up occurring is the streak route will pull the deep half to the inside, which isolates one-on-one -on -one the corner route with the man guarding him. And as a result, you can throw these corner routes all day long like you guys saw in the intro where the deep half really can't get over to the sideline that well to really make a play. The thing that makes it even tougher is that a lot of players know at this point in the year that you can flip flop your coverage combination where, you know, you might have the inside guy on a streak and the outside guy on a corner. And, you know, again, that's going to end up with kind of the same principle where, uh, again, that inside streak is actually going to pull the deep half even further inside because the inside player is actually on the line of scrimmage. So that's just an extra step. That could be an extra couple yards that the safety has to travel to get over to the sideline on a corner route. And obviously the same can be said of, you know, uh, street corner to the short side. That's where the meta is really. You see most players tend to, you know, run these corner routes to the short side of the field. And this ends up being a real pain for a lot of players. So here's the solve. We are going to utilize either a formation that has three safeties by default on the field, or we are going to trick the game into believing that we have three safeties on the field. The first thing we want to do is we want to go into our personnel grouping. Whatever formation we are in, we're going to go into our personnel grouping and we are going to sub out our starter and then sub them back in. The reason you want to do this is because we're going to be activating a package that is going to basically try to put players in specific spots and this might override who you actually want to be in the game. So what I would recommend doing is going in and making sure that your nickel corner is who you want it to be. And then I would also do the same with your safety. So in this case, I'm gonna sub Champ Bailey out, sub him back in. I'm gonna sub Calvin Johnson out. I'm gonna sub him back in. And then honestly, if there's any other positions that when you flip flop to your package that switch, you guys will make the same changes with them. But what we're gonna do in this particular instance is we're gonna turn a nickel coverage defense into what is considered a three safety nickel or a big nickel defense. I've gotten the question a lot over the years, what does big nickel mean or big dime mean? What essentially it means is that when you have big in front of nickel, typically nickel is a three defensive back coverage with two safeties. Um, big means that you're taking that third player out and subbing in another safety at this position. Big dime, four defensive backs underneath, then you have two safeties over the top of them. That big dime designation means that that fourth corner is actually another safety. So kind of the same deal with that. All in all, those big designations for these defenses result in three safeties on the field. So what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna go and we are going to, within our package, flick the right analog stick until you get a safety package that says something like free safety inside, strong safety inside, or big nickel. 
Um, some of these formations have multiple packages that will do this for you. Uh, in this particular instance, nickel over has the big nickel and it has the free safety one inside, both of which are gonna achieve what we want to accomplish with this particular setup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our two man under. We have done our job to make this trick work. Uh, now, from a perspective of, you know, defending corner routes and things like that, we'll go ahead and just choose another two by two tight formation. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to take note. Now, because I subbed my players out and subbed them back in, they are still on the field. I typically roll with the Honey Badger as my nickel corner. If you guys have a man coverage corner that you want to run, maybe you run man knockouts, totally go at that. I'm more of a zone player, so bear with me here. Honey Badger is my slot corner. I think he's the best player in the game. Um, but... What you're gonna note is that when you guys activate this package, your safety adjustments are going to completely change when you do this. You'll note that my safeties have middle third, outside third, left and right, deep half left and right, mid read zone, and blitz as my assignments. What this is gonna do is this is gonna allow you to get better width with your players on those deep safety assignments. So if I wanted to, I could take my safety off of the deep half, which was going too far to the inside, and I could put him into an outside third from a safety alignment, which is going to better be able to attack the street corner combo that so many players love to run. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can also rotate your other safety into a middle third still. If you're worried about corner routes on both sides, you can go ahead and fan them out into outside thirds. And then obviously, if you guys are running something that looks kind of menacing from a blitz standpoint, what I would actually recommend doing is showing some sort of blitz look that might bait them into blocking their running back. And then that turns your user into a free roamer. So if you could imagine you get somebody that does something like this, this will allow you to better lurk the field while having your corner routes that potentially get thrown covered in general. So the situation our running back blocks, I can drop into the middle of the field. And then you see that the corner route to the wide side of the field is completely shut down. Now take for instance, our bench combo. This is one of the most popular route combos in Madden. With this particular tip, what you can do is kind of shade underneath, shade outside. And then that's going to say, okay, out routes are no longer gonna be open on bench. And then you have those corner routes over the top that you can play your zones in to better stop those. So when you get somebody that likes to go out and quick snap bench, you're now gonna have those out routes shut down and the corner routes shut down to both sides of the field. And you're gonna be able to get those interceptions on the corner routes most importantly, especially that short side corner route that so many players like to run. So again, if we take a look at this from a top down all 22 viewpoint, when we snap this ball, notice how the safeties fan and get much better width towards the sidelines to stop these corner routes. Meanwhile, we have the man coverage underneath that's going to combat the short outbreaking routes. And then those corner routes, even though they get open against the players that are in the primary man assignments, we still have the zones in the correct areas of the field to be able to counteract those throws and get interceptions on either side. And then of course our user, which you can see in the middle of the field, if there was any slants or post routes from any of the players on the field, maybe a Texas route from the running back, our user number 37, which is the guy that's kind of running around aimlessly in the middle of the field, is able to kind of free roam. So I've got that ability to kind of turn my user into a lurker. Now, if this tip has helped you guys, make sure you guys do me a quick favor, take a moment, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you guys are notified when I upload Monday through Friday, and also drop a comment below to let me know what you think of this video as it will help push this video out in the algorithm for other Madden players just like you that are looking for Madden tips, tricks, and tutorials. Now let's take a look at another formation that is very, very popular in Madden 23, which is the dollar three two. Before I get into that, I wanna let you know that I have a full dollar defensive game plan where I am zone based. I run no man to man in my dollar defensive game plan. So if you guys are running spinner, this is a perfect complementary defensive game plan to mix in. And we're gonna utilize the same tactics here. You guys can get that particular game plan and everything else on the website at my strategy website, www.gridirongameplans.gg. Go check it out, 9.95 a month. You guys unlock everything, including our weekly vault updates where we're keeping you on top of the meta. We've got a brand new defensive coverage concept called the Smart Shell, which is a zone-based coverage that is so psychic and it really, really has changed a lot of players' outlook on the game in the recent weeks. People are loving that defense. Go check it out. It's in the vault included with your membership. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna activate the safeties package in dollar. Again, keeping in mind that you wanna sub the players in that you want at the various positions before you do this. So we're gonna activate the safeties package. And we could go into, you know, cover two linebacker blitz. 
and we're facing, you know, the bench meta or whatever it is, three corners, post, whatever it is. Texas route with bench, you know, a lot of players like that. But because we have activated the safeties package, the game thinks that we have a safety at the slot corner position, which turns our up top safeties into the different assignments that we just mentioned. So in this situation, I can put our safeties into outside thirds. Maybe I want to lurk on this player right here. That allows this guy, if the running back runs a route to guard him, I can lurk the middle of the field. I can even shave my coverage down. I can shade it outside to stop those out routes. Now they go ahead and snap the ball. You notice that everything is covered. I can lurk the Texas route. Everything on the field is covered. Meanwhile, the pass rush is getting home within this dollar without us having to blitz. We're locking down the field, getting coverage sacks instead of sending spinner relentlessly and praying that we can get to the quarterback while manning up random players. Having sound fundamental coverage to counteract what they're doing. Guys, that is today's video. How to utilize the three safety package to improve your man-to-man -man coverage. Of course, keep in mind that you guys want to rotate your coverages. You can roll your coverage to the left or to the right. Sometimes you want to close center field. You don't necessarily just want to fan your safeties out on both sides and leave everything in the middle open. Sometimes you'll have a safety in an outside third and then the other safety will move to center field. Sometimes it'll be the other direction where they rotate the other way. But this is going to be very, very important for you guys to improve your man-to-man -man coverage. I hope it did help you guys out. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop those below. Like the video, subscribe. We'll see you guys right back here this afternoon with our YouTube short or tomorrow with our next upload. Until then, this is Zan. Hit the lab and good luck.